Hey folks, this is Dr. Zero with a new Tips, Tricks, and Strategy Guide series on the game Grounded. Um, it's basically gonna be like my Raft series where we're kind of live playing, like a Let's Play series. But we will also cut when I need to cut for doing some boring grinding. And uh, we'll fast forward if we need to fast forward. Um, there might be some abrupt cuts because in a game like this you can't just... It's hard to just set a timer for 30 minutes, at least for me. I'd rather just keep playing and feel like I'm getting to a certain point, and then if that's an hour long, then I'll cut that in half. So just keep that in mind as we're going through the series. Um, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so um, here we go. We're going to start out at medium with uh, Pete, and let's get moving. Alright, here we go. Okay, so... You got your key bindings and all that stuff you guys need to set up. Um, and this is the starting place. This little capsule box that we start in. Alright, so you want to check your inventory. We've got nothing. Um, this is your hot pouch. Um, I've got a... You know, uh, a mouse with a lot of buttons on it. And, you know, you can also put it on your keyboard. But, um... You want to bring weapons and tools down here as your quick access, and you'll see it right there at the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is try to get as many things researched, because to, to create stuff, we've got to research stuff. So, one of the first things um, you get is plant fibers. This stuff's all on the ground. And this is the starting spot here by the baseball. Yay, we discovered it. And um, as you discover things, you'll get perks. Um, the perks are up here. If you look at status, you've got mutations right here. As uh, as we move along, I'll get more into mutations, but right now I don't have any. But discovering places like that, when you see that screen pop up, that goes along toward a mutation that makes you, um, I believe, run faster or get your stamina faster. I can't remember. So that's a sprig. And you can see on the uh, idea, you got little things to build. Oh, got a might need to run away. Buddy. Right. Yeah. All right. So you can grab a rock, and it's in my hand right now, and I can use it as a weapon. And we're in first-person mode. Um, it should be noted that third-person mode is probably better in this game. You can see things better, so I would go to third-person mode. All right, so as you start out, as we uh, ran pretty much straight, this is the first thing we see is the field station, okay? This is where you go to analyze stuff. That's the resource analyzer. You're going to find a little bit of food. We'll go back to first person because it's easier to see inside here. You get some food and then you get the analyzer. And you can see um, it's going to go to my backpack. If I close this and I go back to my inventory, anytime you see this little uh, red um, exclamation point, that means it can be researched. So these are things that have not been researched. So the first things I'm going to research, I'm definitely going to research, uh, research a pebblet. Because I need a hammer and an axe. Science. And then, um, after that, I'm going to make some, um, what do I need? Do I need to, yeah, I need to research plant fiber, I believe. I'm not sure if I can make rope without it. Because I really want to get, um, a bow and arrow. There's a weevil. Don't worry, he can't hurt you. He gets food, though. Um, I want to get a bow and arrow as fast as possible. Also, you can check your time in your inventory. It's up here. It's 8 o'clock, so we got a lot of time. Um, let me see if I can craft it. So, hit crafting. This is what I can craft right now, and it's not a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I think I have to research plant fibers to get rope. It kind of doesn't really matter, but I want to analyze as many things as possible because you can only... Uh, research three things per day at each station. It like it recharges um, every 24 hours. So did that get me. Can I make? Yeah, crude rope. I'm gonna go ahead and make that. So I can down here. I've got it in my inventory. That's what it's required to make, and I'm gonna hit craft. And I'm gonna go ahead and research crude rope. It's 
gonna get me. Yeah. I really want the bow. Alright, so that's it for that place. So. I can make. Let's see. Weapons. Pebblet spear. So I'm gonna need sprigs. Grab another sprig. Grab a couple. More rocks. This is the, the beginning stuff. You need lots of stone. You're gonna use that to repair your items. Let's go in here, go to craft. Make pebbled sphere. We got it, so let's go ahead and make that. And that's gonna be our first weapon. So I'm gonna move that to here. Alright, so you got a little spear. It gives you a little bit of ranged attack. You can throw it. Um, like that. Go pick back up, whatever your throw button is. Uh, but mostly you're just gonna be pow, 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 pow. And you see on the bottom left there, my stamina goes down. Alright, so there is another field station, and um, I need to get uh, thistles. So I know where thistles are. But coming up to here, here's the mysterious machine. This is a, a good starting place. Oh, I just got you. Got you. Aphids are a good starting food. Well, a good starting food is mushrooms. So we'll go over here. And, uh, see these guys. Bam, bam, bam. Got mushrooms. Right here, I can eat them. No problem. And you can see my food's going up. Water is going to be a little trickier at the beginning. If you need to, you can drink dirty water. Don't, though, because it makes you sick and then you use up food faster. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we got some gnats. They got gnat fuzz. Need that. If I can. Oh, almost got you. Don't fly away. Come on back. Oh. I want to throw it because it's kind of hard to get back in the water here. All right, let's continue. <laughs> um, the mysterious machine is part of the quest you're going to start. See uh, the top left, find water, craft fiber bandage, investigate the mysterious machine, and it's going to move us along in the story. So I guess we need to do that. Um, find water. Um, water is going to, there we go. It's going to accumulate like this. What you want to do is just punch it. And punch stuff, right? And it'll drop down. So you're gonna punch this grass. Bam. Go ahead and drink that. Alright. So anytime you need water, if you look up, it's gonna be, uh, like there's another one. See that right there? And you wanna just find where it goes down and then punch it. Nope, not that one. Uh, this one. But if it goes in water, you lose it. Alright, let's, uh, Craft a fiber bandage. Let's see what we need for that. Going to medical. I need sap. Okay, to find sap, not hard. You see twigs like this lying around with leaves on it? Other than the big tree, but just grab them. Um, these will respawn on a daily basis. So you build a base near them, it's like a permanent um, like source of sap. You see the little ideas popping up. So we'll go ahead and make... Bandage. And I always put that, yep, in that spot in case I get hurt. And continue grabbing stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. Craft pebble gax. Let's do that. We're going to need that. Okay. I got an axe. Now let's go investigate the machine. I'm gonna go over here. You're gonna hit the yellow target button. Oh god. No. Right. Unlock the obstructed laser. Plus we're on weakening the lasers. That's good. Up. Oh, see over here? There we go. This one's got like a little uh grass. Got that down. 
And then if you cut the grass down, it becomes planks that you can use to build stuff. But we're not going to be doing that right now. Uh, what is weakening? So we're going to see it up there. Got to go kill mites. So let's follow this path over here. I also want um, clover to make shield or make armor. Unleash a lot of stuff. Another basic thing you need. Um, this is clay, but we're not going to get into that now. And we got mites, so time for combat. And see how they're eating on this? We got to kill these guys. back up Whoa. and uh, you can block when they attack they're not too hard Whoa. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to make a torch Torch. Do, 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 do. Um, we need some more rope and dry grass. Oh, we got dry grass here. See how it's yellow? Down. Bing, bing, bing. And they've conveniently put what you need here to make this stuff, so we need sap. I believe more crude rope, so let's craft that up. See, yeah, it's got a check mark because I've got the stuff that I need. Crack that up. All right, now we got a uh, torch one hand and our spear on the other. Let's go on in here and clean these guys off. These slime molds you can make into light. And then grab some of that. Still got plenty of room in here. I'm um, gonna have to think about eating soon. Um, do I have enough for quartzite? My hammer. No, I need uh, snow. This is quartzite. It's a good place to get quartzite at the beginning. We'll come back. We don't really need it right now, but that's quartzite. Use that for higher tier items and for repairing. So I gotta go back and investigate the mysterious machines more. Something I can eat for later. Keep an eye out for mushrooms. Um, anytime I see mushrooms right now, get them. See how my health is uh, been taken down. Let's go ahead and eat that. Get that back up. And if you look at your status, when your food is pretty much above 75%, I believe, or 80%, it's like really high, you'll regenerate. So that's how you kind of heal at the beginning. See on the right side, bot down here, or my, the bottom left of the screen, there's that red bar. That's my health. It's going up. So keep your food above um, like 80% and you'll regenerate. You can also get honeydew, which we'll find later. That'll heal you somewhat, other than bandages. So you don't really need to waste bandages if you can just find food. Keep yourself stuffed. All right, let's uh, activate this. Oh, God.
Okay, so that's the tree is where we gotta go next, but we're not gonna go there just now. We're gonna go to where I consider to be the best place to start a base. For a couple of reasons. It's central to the map. If you look here, um, we're almost center of the map. Um, there's a reliable place to get uh, water, this juice box. I'm gonna drip up um, juice that we can drink over time. There we go. Slurp that up, and you'll see uh, water and food goes up fairly good. And uh, here we are. Some mushrooms over here. Go ahead and grab those. Some more sap. And we're going to go up this thing. And here we are. All right. If you look up here, it's this leaf right here. Basically, you're safe from everything up here. So in the very beginning, if you get in here, nothing can get to you. The ants can't steal your food. They can't do anything. So this is a good home base up here. Um, I'm not sure I can make a house yet. Sleeping spot. Got some more stuff I gotta um, research. But um, this, basically, this is like a good home base. Let's see what we got down there. Yeah, it's uh, just a little ladybug. When you see uh, the grass moving around like that, <laughs> be aware. It's either a ladybug or some other dangerous creature. So this basically is going to be the beginning of our base here. This rock and this leaf. Highly suggest to start here. There's lots of mushrooms. You're central to the map. Um, it's just a good spot. So, we've got some stuff on us. We want to get thistles. So, if I go in this direction, there should be some thistle. I'm going to grab that, but i got to be careful. There's stuff all around that wants to murder us. And we are completely not prepared. Another juice box right there. Lemon crime. All right. This is going to be a uh, spade gulch, I don't know. Alright, so this area has got this thing. This is a thistle. See the red uh, top? Got thistles. There's going to be mites around here, and there's going to be a bombardier beetle, which we do not want to mess with right now. Not even close to being ready to mess with that thing. So you want to jump up on here. If I can see him. Yep, there you see him over there? That is a bombardier. Uh, we want to go up to this and just pick these guys. Gotta just go over each one and pick it. And when you're doing inventory and you're grabbing stuff out and about, things stack to 10. So I've gotten more than 10. So I might as well grab six more if I can. Because it's just a good round number. I can grab one more. Need to get out of here. Right. We're not messing with you, lady. Pants. Alright, juice box. Alright, where are we on the map? Okay, so over here should be a. Yeah, should be another resource station. Alright, let's get on this one. Yeah, it's gonna be near the uh, other leg. There should be a mound of mushrooms. Good. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so you hear that hissing noise? Those are spiders. They will definitely murder me right now. So I need to be careful. See him? That's an orb with a spider. Okay. Yeah, you're doing your thing. I'm doing my thing. Alright, so I'm going to research that. Science. Spiky sprig, which is what I really wanted. And um, let's go ahead and research that. That gives me clover armor, which you need. And oh, I need uh, for the bow. I need um, the regular mic, the white mic buzz from the gnats. But let's go ahead and re research this. Now I need to get out of here, because that noise means something dangerous is coming. 
that rustling noise, that means you need to get out of dodge if you see it, if you hear that noise. All right, so it's getting kind of late. Um, I'm going a little bit. I could speed run this very quickly, but obviously I'm here to tell you what's going on. <laughs> um, at the beginning, if you don't need to fight, don't fight. Okay, just keep on grabbing resources on your way. If you see food, you can kill, kill it. You want to grab these immediately because you know, as soon as you do, it, it starts like a respawn timer. So this is like local food for me right here. Reproducible local food. And then also, what we want to begin to do is this is going to be where we're going to um, build our base. So what you do is you lock off this, um, this leaf. And I'll show you. And the spider, the wolf spider, which will come around at night. He's going to start coming around. It'll stop him from getting on this rock, but we're going to spend the night on that leaf anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, what can we do right now? What can I craft? Tools. Spiky sprig. Need rope. That's going to increase my ability to hurt stuff. <laughs> A lot. Um, and then um, I need armor. Yeah, so I need um, more rope. So we're gonna go ahead and collect this. And they need probably a lot of rope. Just always keep your eye out in your peripheral for wolf spiders. Let's get up here. More sap. And it's going to be an impediment, so we need to cut that. Yeah. I just need to start cutting all these, to be honest. I'm going to need a, a building here. Alright, so when you cut this grass, if you leave um, the little bottom there, it'll respawn faster. Cut all the way. I believe the respawn is much longer. I, I think it still does respawn, but it takes way longer. So if you don't want it in your way, cut the bottoms here. And when you cut the bottoms, you get more fiber. This is all just fiber. Let's grab that water. Yeah, I can't get through there. Yeah, in the beginning, water is pretty important. Food with the mushrooms is super easy. Once we go to the tree and get acorn bits, that stuff's a lot of food. And then when tools um, get weakened, so let's go on our tool here. See it? There's a repair function. To repair it, I need quartzite, which I do not have right this second. But where we went to get those, um, to fix the machine, that's where we're going to get more quartzite. Now, also when you're researching, you need to research, uh, research the uh, grass planks, which will be, you have to walk them over manually since they can't go into the inventory. And you have to research them, they'll give you more stuff. So to craft stuff, I'm going to go to the uh, crafting menu, and we've got a couple options here. So this is the crafting menu. It's not base stuff I can build. Make fire pit. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I can't make this. It's not in crafting. It's in building to make this um, lean to. Um, so to make um, any item, so let's just go with the wall real quick. I hit cancel on that. Um, we're going to make just a wall. And when it's blue, you can um, set it down. When it's red, you can't. And when you're building stuff, um, basically, whatever the first thing you set down is kind of, unless it's touching the ground, it's kind of like its foundation. So if, let's get that right there. if I build off of this now, can I put another thing up here? If I destroy this, the bottom one, that's going to fall. It's going to be destroyed, which seems obvious, but as you go across the stuff on the ground, it might not seem as intuitive, but if you destroy the base part, all of it will be destroyed. So we don't need that. Don't need that. It's going to be a door. So just go up to it, and um, it's going to tell you what it needs. Once you put that blue thing down, it says, well, I need grass plank, so I'll pick that up. Bam. 
And we need a door. A little bit low. Just gonna make that higher. Uh, I don't think I can get through that. Let's see. Might be able to walk. I should be able to walk through that. A rope and a weed stem. So weed stems, and it's getting kind of dark soon, so we're going to have to hurry up here. Um, dandelions are going to provide you with um, stems, and another important thing, which is the dandelion to allow you to float down from high spaces. And there she blows. All right, so at the end of it, you're going to find these little tufts. With those. You put that in your glider spot. So it won't take up permanent inventory. Let's go back and, uh, it's getting dark here. Need to put up, um, like a home, a marker soon so I can, uh, there we go. So I know where home is easier. Okay. And without the ant armor or, uh, special smoothies. All I can carry is five, but this is good for right now. Set it right here. Some rope. Need some rope. Keep in mind, when you're in the crafting menu, you're still, like, in the real world, so a spider could just come up and murder you. And the spider can get underneath this, which I'll need to block off. I don't know if I have time to do it tonight. Probably don't. Because it's going to be night in like a minute. It doesn't really matter because I'll be able to go up on top of the leaf and just chill. Now I see as not, there's more water dew collecting this time. I think as it gets darker, more collects. Uh, let's go ahead and just set up what we're going to build up here first. Okay, here, lean to. This allows me to uh, set a spawn point. That, okay, and I'm gonna set that as my respawn. And once it's uh, this time of night, or once it's nighttime, it'll be 20, oh, 20, 30, 20 o'clock. I forgot the 24, I had to say that. Um, once it's nighttime, you can go to sleep. See, right here. Right. So we're not going to go to sleep right now. We're actually going to continue. Because when you go to sleep, you use uh, more resources than you would if you didn't sleep. And we got stuff to do. Plus, it's kind of cool at night. Let's see what's going on. I'll show you. A wolf spider might come. Might not always come. But if he comes, we'll be safe. So, what else we need? We need storage. Probably don't have enough for storage. But put from there. Try to make them lined up. This is just the beginning. I'm not gonna catch him. Any clover leaf? So let's get down here and hope we don't get murdered by a spider. But up uh, in the front of where we live, there's a whole bunch of clover. Oh, right here. You see this on the ground? It looks like sap. That is honeydew. Anytime you see that, grab it. Um, the food, water. And it also will heal you a little bit. And I'm trying to comment, so there's certain things like my inventory that I need to clean up. I'm not really thinking about right now. I'm also trying to listen for uh, spiders. Okay. 
All right, so we got our first storage. So, um, can I make a spiky sprig yet? That's what I need. I need sprigs, so I need to make that so I have a good weapon. Because the spear is not the uh, the clubs are the best weapons in the game. I almost immediately get rid of the spear as soon as I get any type of club weapon and the arrow, which we're going to need them to kill the spiders. It's pretty. There's a, a way to, to kill the spider. You just set up a platform and shoot down on them because they can't climb stairs. But it's the only way to really kill wolf spiders at the beginning unless you have perfect block. Because once you get poisoned, they, the wolf spiders mess you up fast. So we'll go ahead and make uh, that. Here, um, what else do I need? I need to make a hammer. Need sprigs and crude rope. Let's make some more rope. And we're gonna need a rock. Or no, we need uh, sprigs. So this is another great reason why this spot is so awesome is because there's so much of the stuff you need at the beginning right here, right off this leaf. Yeah, I know, I'm a little paranoid right now, but the wolf spider will annihilate you. <laughs> um, spiky sprig. Alright, there we go. Cool. And we're not going to need um, these for right now. Don't need to make a torch. Don't need these. Don't need that. Got a lot of food on us. Don't need all that. Oh, did I make two? Am I a dummy? Yeah, well, we're about to repair it, so put it there. I'm a dummy. Um, so I need, I need to make a hammer. That's what I was going to do. I was going to make a hammer, and I made another spiky sprig. I'm a big dummy. Leave that in the comments. Dr. Zero's big dummy. Look. <laughs> We're watching you to figure out how to play this game, Dr. Sierra. Not doing so great right now. <laughs> Some more sprigs. And you'll see honeydew glowing. Things that you can, like, get will usually glow in the dark. Or e even at, um, in daytime. I'd like to get a fire pit set up. I think there should be some more sprigs over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can grab that water from here. There we go. I like the sound effects in this game. It's really atmospheric. I like it. I have, I have like a muscle memory set up from other games of where I've got all my tools. Uh, I think those need to be switched. Let's see. And over here, anything that's in your hand actually goes out of your inventory, can free up space. here, and I don't need that spear anymore. Okay, in here. Um, don't need any sap. I'm not aware of. Um, see if I can make a fire right here. Yeah, that'll be good. And rotate it. And that sound was the crow landing. See him up 
can't really there, see the outline of them. There he is. Um, dry grass rocks. Like Some more dry grass and rock. Um, and also, um, let's see if we can make any armor at all. I need a, yep, that's right, I need a workbench. And we need to make a workbench. We're gonna have to make a, a foundation first. Oh, we had to research some stuff, I believe. Now, yeah, get some more stuff to research. Or I can make a workbench. So we got some time to go. Um, Cloverleaf, that's a, a, not Cloverleaf, a trail marker. Put that up here. That'll work. And it won't work until I complete it, but we gotta let's start moving along here. Um, I might cut away just to get um, nighttime done with because, to be honest, well, I can afford to sleep. So well, let's just go ahead and sleep as daytime is, yeah, way safer. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and cut it there. Seems like a good stopping point, and that video is getting just a little long. I'd like to trim them down just a little bit more, but... The cuts will be abrupt. There's just no way around it. Um, I guess I should try to set a timer to round times off. Well, I'll try it. I've already recorded uh, like another half hour, so the other the next video will be up uh, real soon. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to uh, new episodes. Hope you learn some stuff. Um, leave uh, comments. I want to learn from you guys if you've got anything that I can learn. Um, and I uh, hope you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, leave a like and uh, share it. All right. Have a good one. See ya. Dr. Zero Gaming Videos. Not gonna pay for music. Subscribe, like, and share. Bow, bow.